Megumi is out, and so is Akari. And it's an update that basically everyone in any kind of Battleground game waits for. The moment the character that isn't free becomes free, and the moment another character gets added. I'll quickly go over to updates and do some short analysis to wrap things up. So let's go. Hakari is available to everyone. Megumi is a new early access character, and he has one move called Rapid Escape. Hakari's domain now ends with increased probability, or faster spins, when reopening it if the last jackpot had an odd or even number. Jackpot's audio visualizer, aka the pulse in green lights, is less of an eyesore to look at and way more bearable. Wall bouncing was added to the game. Build tools were added to private servers. High damage attacks no longer ignore damage dealt by other players when giving out kills. Hall Purple Max and Sukuna's Open kill computers a little bit less. The annoying gimmick of not being able to spawn domains near spawns was removed. Sukuna's M1s were changed. Gravestones can now be thrown. There was audio added to the place's emote, which I do not have. Visuals for the drawn setting were changed. Gifting game passes notifies the receiver now. Burst has reduced knockback and cooldown. You can't ragdoll cancel out of burst stun. There are three new emotes added to the game. For analysis, let's start with Megumi. Right now, he has two moves. His special that makes him go to the ground, and Rabbit Escape, which summons a bunch of blockable rabbits that auto-track onto the opponent and basically barrage them until the move ends. The rabbits do damage to anyone not blocking, but they don't do any hit stun, meaning you can still block and attack while being hit. Kind of like Sukuna's domain expansion. It seems very annoying to fight, though I wouldn't know since I haven't been on the receiving end of it. He's definitely an interesting character that will probably revolve around summoning things to fight for him while he either takes advantage of them or stays out of the picture entirely. Sounds like a horrifyingly annoying archetype to fight against, like a zoner on crack, but Z will probably find some way to make it fun instead of painful to fight. Let me know what you think about Megami right now in the comments. As for Hakari being free, there's not much to say except prepare for the Hakari pop clips. There's gonna be a lot of people inevitably using a new free character that they've been waiting for, so yeah. Wall bouncing is not nearly as annoying as I thought it would be. Most fights happen in the open where you can't really wall jump, there's not a lot of places where you can actually chain wall jumps, and places indoors are just normally too open for you to chain wall jumps for running. You really just can't run with them, and it's cool, but it's not a feature I see people using a lot, or using myself. It's not a complaint, but it's just an observation. Reducing the jackpot visualizer is great, because that thing was a real straight on the eyes. It made it very difficult to get screenshots to show off Akari sometimes, and I'm very glad that CZ did this. Making gravestones throwable will take some time to actually matter. Right now, most people aren't going over to the graveyard for throwable fights, but it'll probably catch on later. It's too far out of the way for people to naturally stumble upon it, which is a real shame if I'm being honest, since I want more throwable fights to happen. Bottom line is that not much changes, but it's not really a fault on Z. Just a fault on where the graveyard is, which still shouldn't be changed. Finally, build tools are kind of cool as a concept, but right now they seem buggy. I can't figure out how to scale or rotate parts, and whether that's me being stupid or Z for getting to add them will be found out after I upload this video and wait for comments to either call me stupid for not figuring it out, or join me in complaining about it. I do hope things get fixed soon though, because beat tools are just a cool thing in any game. Anything else on the update log can either have my thoughts be summarized as, yeah, this is cool, like the Sukuna M1 change, or is just not noticeable enough for me to really care, like Burst, a mechanic that not many people really use, getting some minor buffs. Overall, the update is cool, though the only thing people are really going to notice are Megumi being released and Hakari becoming free. I'll make a gameplay video about Megumi pretty soon, but just know that right now, he's definitely got the foundation to be a good character, only held back by the fact that he's unfinished. As a whole, I can say that Z kind of cooked. 10 out of 10, good job, now I'm done yapping. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe, because it helps me to continue to make contact for everyone. I'm Noob Eternally, thanks for visiting my channel, and I'll see you next time in another video. Bye.